Okay, folks, I'm going to talk to you about Spider. Uh, I had some issues with Tony. Um, number one, it when you download Tony, so if you go, it's, it's lightweight, right? So if you go to Tony.org and install Tony, it's going to give you just Python. It's not going to give you NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, or anything. Sorry, I'm outside. I'm sorry about that airplane. Um, so it's not going to give you any of those extra modules. If you go over to Spider Python install, um, I, I'm running Linux, so all I had to do was just install, um, just do sudo add git install Spider. Um, it says like Spider is included by default in the Anaconda Python distribution, yada yada yada, which is fine. Um, if you're on Linux, you just have to do sudo apt um, install Spider. I'm not going to type in my password, but basically that's how you install it on Linux. On Windows, you're just going to you know install this way. Um, when you bring it up the first time, you're going to get, oh man, that helicopter is flying back. Probably landing some COVID patient on Providence Hospital. Um, let's hope they're okay. So uh, anyway, so you're going to have like a, uh, a console here. You can do a variable explorer. You're going to have your, your workspace here. So you can type in like x equals 2, 2 times x. And if you know, or sorry, y equals 2 times x. And you're going to see that pop up over here. I've got code over here. Um, what I love about Spider is as soon as you install it and run it, all of these Python, all of these modules are already installed. So this is a fresh install, input control as CDL. Uh, you know, every, like, I've installed Canopy, Tony, uh, you know, just Python in general, just like on your desktop. And every single time I've had issues with installing the control system toolbox and matplotlib and numpy, but this one just boom, just there you go, it's already installed, which is awesome. Um, I personally have my own Python repo, and it's on, it's on GitHub, python.git, and in there I have a bunch of different modules. It was extremely easy in Spider to just go to Tools, Python Manager, and add paths, just add these paths. So now I can do um, import uh, my math as M, and that won't work on your machine because you don't have my math, but I do. And so now I can type in M and I can even do like, uh, what is it, is it, is it, is it m.dir, uh, m.dir, print m.dir, maybe there's no module, uh, if I do cdl.dir, does that have, does that one, how do you print the directory of a, is it doc? That's the doc, sure. But how do you print like the methods? Can you just do like methods? How? Oh. Print methods of object. Yeah, 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 that's what I want. No, this isn't what I want. Dur, you type, okay, it's dur of cedal. Haha. -ha. So if I type in dir of m, yes. Yes. See? So this is these are functions that I wrote, right? So I could even do, you know, import uh, plotting as p, right? And that's code that I wrote. And if I do dir of p, right, these are all functions that I wrote. And it was really easy to just go into tools, Python manager, and add them. So I've got six off, PDF, plotting, all of those, no big deal. But if you're not writing your own software, control, matplotlib, and numpy are all installed automatically. So I can just run this, and boom, it spits out some transfer functions. It spits out some Bode plots, some root locus, some manual root locus plots, and some time series plots, which is really, really cool. And all of the variables are up here in this variable explorer. Now, the one thing that I don't like, and I, I looked this up before I watched this video, was that if I want to go to Tools, Preferences, uh, IPython Console, Graphics, and change this back end to Automatic, and hit Apply, and then OK, and then I'm going to go to Consoles, Restart the Kernel, and if you notice that 23 turned back into a 1, and all my variables went away, now when I hit Play, all of my windows pop up. And the reason why I like this is because, well, I want to be able to, you know, zoom in on this and, 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 and check this out, you know? I want to I be able to see what, what exactly is going on with, uh, with the, 
with, with the root locus here. And I also want to be able to save this as a high res PNG. And so there you go. So there's kind of spider in a nutshell. Um, install it, run it, you know, no big deal. Um, I think there's a lot more that I could show you, like debug mode and things like that. But I mean, for now, I mean, this is doing exactly what I want. Um, so there you go. It looks like I actually ran into an error somewhere, but eh, I'll leave that. I'll let that let that go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and uh, happy coding.